<laughs> Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we'll be going over our picks for the most powerful weapons in Zelda games. For this list, we'll be examining some of the strongest weapons from the Legend of Zelda franchise. To be clear, in order to qualify, these have to be weapons specifically, not just any item Link can use. If there's a weapon of awesome power that we missed, please don't hesitate to yell hey, listen at us in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. All Savage Lionel Weapons, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild has a ton of weapons to use, and you'll go through a lot of them during your journey throughout Hyrule, mostly because they break like twigs. However, some of them can still hit like trucks while you have them. The strongest weapons for one-handed, two-handed, and ranged weapons tend to be Savage Lionel Weapons. These are obtained by defeating the strongest versions of Lynels, which are some of the trickiest and most difficult enemies in the game. However, getting weapons like a one-handed sword that's almost as strong as the Master Sword, a huge battering ram of a club, and a bow that shoots three arrows at once makes them well worth tough fights. <laughs> Megaton Hammer, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Link may tend to use swords in combat, but he also wields heavier weaponry. In Ocarina of Time, Link acquires the Megaton Hammer in the Fire Temple. While it has a slow swing speed, it's as strong as the Master Sword. And it also produces shockwaves when it hits something, which is handy when dealing with especially tough foes or with removing heavy obstacles. The Megaton Hammer can even be used against Ganon, the final boss in the game, if you don't have any swords available. While this specific hammer hasn't appeared in any main games after its first one, it's a weapon that still made an impact. Remote Bombs, Various. While bombs have been part of Link's arsenal from the beginning of his adventures, a more recent advancement has been his use of remote bombs. First seen in the Minish Cap, these allow Link to set a bomb and then detonate it whenever the player wants. However, their appearance in Breath of the Wild took them to another level by making them no longer require carrying capacity. This allows you to always have a weapon at the ready. Not only that, but they're incredibly useful for solving puzzles, defeating enemies, and just messing around with the game's physics. Ball and Chain, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess can get a bad rap sometimes, but it easily has some of the coolest and most unique items in the series. One of these is the Ball and Chain. Found in the Snow Peak Ruins, this weapon is initially used by an enemy, and once you defeat them, you're able to use it yourself. It's a very Breath of the Wild move. The Ball and Chain is essentially a huge wrecking ball that you can use to smash scenery and enemies alike. While it does slow Link down, it has the trade-off of deflecting projectiles and doing damage to anyone who steps inside your range. Its capabilities are almost as impressive as Link being able to swing it around. <laughs> Biggeron Sword, Various. First appearing in Ocarina of Time, the Biggeron Sword is the strongest weapon in the game. Through a lengthy trading quest, you're able to forge this two-handed blade. Not only does it have an impressive reach, it's also twice as powerful as the Master Sword. 
Although this is its primary appearance, it can also be obtained through passwords and DLC in the Oracle games and Breath of the Wild, respectively. While not quite as powerful as its initial outing, it's still a cool-looking sword that will make short work of your opponents. Silver Arrows. Various. Arguably a precursor to items like the Light Arrows, the Silver Arrows are even more powerful. In both games they appear in, the Silver Arrows are the only way to defeat the final boss, Ganon. Not only that, but in A Link to the Past, the Silver Arrows can kill nearly any enemy with one shot. That includes some bosses too. It's always satisfying in any game to destroy strong enemies that once gave you trouble by blowing them away in one hit. They may be silver, but there's nothing second best about these arrows. Din's Fire, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. A magical spell obtained from the Great Fairy outside Hyrule Castle, Din's Fire creates a dome of flame that expands outward from you once you activate it. The spell is helpful not only for handling large groups of enemies, but also with burning away obstacles and solving puzzles. In fact, it's impossible to beat the game without it since you need to use it to enter the Shadow Temple. Also. Din's Fire takes its name from one of the three goddesses who created Hyrule and the Triforce, Din. No wonder it's so strong. Fierce Deity Sword, Various. While Link can acquire the Fierce Deity Sword in Breath of the Wild, it's only a strong two-handed sword in that game. It shows its true power in the game that originated it, Majora's Mask. By collecting every mask in the game, you can acquire the Fierce Deity's Mask. This will transform you into Fierce Deity Link and grant you the ability to use the Fierce Deity Sword. Along with its awesome, if impractical, intertwining looped design, the Fierce Deity Sword can also fire powerful projectile energy blasts out of it. While it's not the only sword Link uses that does this, it's the only one that doesn't have any drawbacks. Not only that, it can basically annihilate every boss in the game. <laughs> Bow of Light, Various. Link fires light arrows a lot throughout his many adventures, but it's only sometimes that he also uses a bow of light. These weapons are typically used against Ganon or Ganondorf, and they're sometimes wielded by Zelda herself. Regardless of who's using the weapon, the bow of light packs quite a punch and is often one of the only means of hurting Hyrule's nemesis. Arguably the most powerful version of the weapon appears in Breath of the Wild. This Bow of Light is one of the strongest weapons in the game, can't break, and fires unlimited light arrows. The design's not too shabby either. Master Sword. Various. The Sword That Seals the Darkness. Evil's Bane. The Master Sword has many names, but one thing is for sure, it's the strongest weapon in The Legend of Zelda. Some versions can fire beams, some can open barriers, it can even allow travel through time. While its relative strength may vary from game to game, it's always a critical weapon against Ganon and his minions. It's also integral to the lore of the franchise. If there's one weapon that's synonymous with The Legend of Zelda, it's the Master Sword. That's why it's the most powerful weapon of them all.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.